Is Bruce Springsteen a victim of emotional incest? Sad but true. Let's examine this on today's Ask a Shrink. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, of course, he has international fame. He's been a performer for decades, very well known, and there's an image that goes along with him. And it's interesting to unthread that and realize that he himself is a victim of emotional incest, something I talk a lot about in many of my videos. Now, I came upon this by accident. I started listening to an audible book entitled Born to Run about Bruce Springsteen's life. And it's very compelling within the first three chapters or so, he begins talking in depth about how he was emotionally smothered by his own grandmother, how she took over and in essence destroyed his life in many ways. But he also refers to the fact that it made him who he is in terms of having drive in his life to find himself as an artist. He also goes in depth about the emotional pain he had to go through by being taken over in this unhealthy way by his own grandmother. So I took some notes as I'm listening to Audible and I want to talk about these today. It's very important in terms of understanding the devastating impact of having your identity thwarted by an adult, an adult who's supposed to be there for you, help the child grow up, and they're actually benefiting or using you somehow for their own needs. So he describes living together at his grandmother's house. Now his grandparents were there, his father was an alcoholic and also his sister and mother. Now he starts by letting us know that he was the firstborn child of the grandmother's only son, his father, and she just zoomed in on him. She zeroed in. She had lost a daughter at birth and decided to make it her mission to raise her new grandson, Bruce. He says, it gave my grandmother a life of purpose. She seized in on me with a vengeance. Now that's a pretty strong description right there, right? She seized in on me with a vengeance. There's no room for the child then at that point, right? This adult is deciding I'm taking him over. What's a little kid gonna do? I wrote down a lot of his quotes because they're all fascinating. Now he also said, quote, her mission became my ultimate protection from the world within and without. So the grandmother was going to protect him supposedly from the world within and without, not realizing she's actually causing him a lot of harm. He couldn't connect to his own parents at this point. And his father, the grandmother's son, is now resentful of all this. The grandmother, the father's mother, has just stepped in and is ruling this household. The father's an alcoholic, so we have all sorts of emotional chaos going on in this household. And Springsteen says, and I quote, her blind, single-minded devotion would lead to hard feelings with my father and enormous family confusion. So we have this very unhealthy foundation now. And Bruce is being viewed as the golden child, I'm sure, by his sister. It's all about Bruce, but it's not in Bruce's best interest. This is actually emotionally harming him. Now he says because he was so spoiled, which in essence is what the grandmother was doing, Springsteen said when he had to go to school and he had to be on a timetable about something, because remember he always had his way with his grandmother, when he had to be on a timetable he would fly into a rage. His mother at some point during all of this is realizing this is really unhealthy, I've got to change these dynamics somehow. And so she finds a way to move the family away from the grandparents, away from this grandmother. Now that's a good thing because the mother is trying to reclaim him. Problem is they only move four blocks away. So he says in his book that I was just over at my grandparents all the time anyhow. I wasn't going to listen to anybody. I felt more home over there. Well, why wouldn't he feel more at home around his grandmother? She gave him everything he wanted. There were no boundaries, which of course was really harming him. He's starting to figure out, you can tell hints of it as he's describing this stage of his life, that this is really inappropriate. But of course, he doesn't have the words for it when he's a kid. But he does say that sometimes when he was always going over to his grandmother's place, that he would see her underwear hanging on the clothesline outside. And it would remind me of the inappropriate intimacy, both physical and emotional, that made their home so confusing and so compelling. So that's interesting, right? Confusing and compelling, which is what happens. That's the internal conflict that comes with being emotionally smothered, with being taken over. It's confusing because on the one hand, you're getting all this attention. You're on the pedestal. You're the golden child. You're getting what you want. Somebody's just bowing to you 
in a way to take you over and get their own needs answered because obviously the grandmother was very unhappy and lonely. That's why she's focusing in so much on Bruce. So we have confusion and we have the compelling part of it. Compelling meaning this is kind of a good thing, but, but, but this isn't helping me in life. And so you have all these mixed feelings, but she loves me, but it's not really love, is it? It's conditional love. And do I love her? Do I even know what love is? So all of these things cause so much confusion in the child who's being taken over in this way. He says, and quote, in his family life, it would drag all of us down. So the whole family was paying a price for him being emotionally smothered by his grandmother. Now, as he hits adolescence and he's starting to date, then he realizes there's, there's something going on here that's not healthy, but he kind of likes it because women are being drawn to him. Women who wanted to take care of him, he says, I built a small harem of women who would take care of me, tie my shoes, zip my jacket, and shower me with attention. Now, of course, he's drawing women like this because he was raised this way by his grandmother. So he's used to being spoiled. He's used to having things done for him. That's going to attract women who want to do that for a man, in this case, a young boy. And of course, the adolescent or adult male is going to let this happen because they don't know any better. There's no real them there. They weren't helped to get to know themselves. They're just in this role. And that's what causes even additional confusion now in the dating world. And he's also, of course, describing other aspects of his life, what it was like going to school at this time, what it was like growing up in his neighborhood. But he bounces back and forth a lot with some interesting tidbits about the emotional smothering. In this case, when he's saying that he pretty much just always stayed over at his grandparents' house, that my grandmother slept on a small, worn spring couch with me tucked in at her side while my grandfather slept across the room. Now, very, very sad because we have no boundaries here whatsoever. And in his Audible book, Born to Run, Bruce Springsteen talks about how this so negatively impacted him and did not set him up in a healthy way to approach life. He was a very lost soul, but as I mentioned earlier, he funneled the lostness, so to speak, into being this great artist, this great singer, musician, and so on. And he continues on and says, quote, this is where I felt a horrible, unforgivable, boundary-less love. It ruined me and it made me pursue a place of my own in my music. And I'll wind down the video by saying he also added, for my grandmother's love, I abandoned my parents, my sister, and much of the world itself. I was a lost boy king. And that's what happens with emotional incest. It's very sad. Please watch some of my other videos that deal with the topic of emotional incest if you're not familiar with this. It's very insidious and it's hidden from the world, so to speak, because it looks like the son or daughter is being very well treated when in reality, the parent or the grandparent is using the child for their own needs because they're lost, they're unhappy, they have a bad marriage perhaps, and so they're taking over this child to be their little mini husband or mini wife. They want them to mirror back to them their needs, what they're all about, and it's not about what's in the best interest of the child. So if you have time, pick up the book, Born to Run by Bruce Springsteen. I would highly recommend it if you want to understand the impact of emotional incest a little bit more. Please leave me some comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about Bruce Springsteen. Maybe this is triggering some trauma in your life that you remember and feel free to leave that in the comment section. Please subscribe to my mental health YouTube channel if you like these kind of videos. And until next week, this is Brad Shore signing off from Ask a Shrink.